Uh, thank you, uh, uh, respected colleagues uh, from INAS and respected publishers, uh, colleagues uh, from Research for Life and distinguished guests. Uh, a very good morning to all. So we are from Bangladesh. Uh, me, uh, Muhammad Nazimuddin, and uh, my professional colleagues, uh, Razana Sultana. Uh, she's from Hello. Bangladesh College of Physicians and Surgery, and I'm from ICDDRB. Our presentation actually basically it is based on health research in Bangladesh and we are trying to focus on health research and as well as uh, how publishers uh, make a difference uh, uh, for the development by working together uh, with libraries and uh, consortia. So health research in Bangladesh basically we try to uh, promote and develop uh, interventions and translating evidence uh, into policies uh, made a substantial contributions to the improvement of health, uh, health outcomes in Bangladesh. And we try to reduce uh, the mortality rate from diarrhea and vaccine uh, preventable diseases and control of fertility, which have made the most significant contributions uh, to recent health gains in Bangladesh. But uh, for doing research, uh, access to electronic resources and use of literature uh, has improved our research uh, because of the fast growth of information and uh, communications technologies. And particularly, uh, internet and electronic resources have changed the traditional and conventional methods of research, storage, retrieval, and communications of scholarly information. So because of why? Because right now we, uh, we need to have very up-to-date information through internet and multiple point of access we can get through internet, which uh, earlier which was not possible, and then speedy retrieval, which is uh, within a moment, and if internet is available, and the functional aspects. So these all are very important for uh, doing uh, research in Bangladesh. And, uh, this is the uh, this is the contributions of uh, INASP. Actually, what we did not do earlier before 2007, but INASP has made this possible because of uh, the consortium. We several times we thought and several times we have made several attempts to organize ourselves professionally from library point of view. And we have two uh, library associations in Bangladesh, but we could not make it possible. But INASP has made this possible to organize a consortium under Bangladesh Academy of Sciences. And uh, BIPC, in fact, uh, formed in 2007, and uh, it unites more than 50 organizations that includes public and private universities, uh, including research organizations, and uh, mostly deal with uh, nuclear radi radiation, chemistry, uh, electronics, computer science, and uh, food technology, microbiology, and genetic engineering, and many more. How we provide electronic resources to scientific community? I see DDIB. This, this is uh, this is an example from my organization. So, we provide actually electronic resources to our research community through the library website link. Uh, sometimes we use login ID and password through IP authentication. So and uh, licensing policies. Library internet site link because of copyright act. So whatever we may whatever we make uh, electronic resources available that is make in on internet site, not internet site, and online documentary uh, document delivery process through email, and we have remote access for facilities. So our consortium also has the uh, same, say, uh, same methods to provide electronic resources to researchers, but there are some organizations who actually does not have the remote access facilities because of resource constraints. And uh, uh, the consortium is important uh, in regard to, uh, to what we cannot do individually, but together we can do more. And that is why consortium is more important. And increased cooperation, coordination, and collaboration. So our first uh, speaker, uh, she already mentioned that, yes, collaboration is very important, by which actually her friend uh, from Hong Kong so, so how actually she received and she delivered his actually her literature to that university and how uh, she received from Hong Kong University for her own purpose. Increased uh, buying power and optimal utilization of fund and uh, very helpful to provide better library services like current awareness service and selective dissemination of, uh, dissemination of information and cost sharing for technical and training support. I must say that the last bullet of this slide, that uh, cost sharing and training support is very, very important for Bangladesh. Very, very important. Because you know that the very small state and the size of population 160 million. 
uh, we live in Bangladesh. So considering that part, so I think the cost sharing is very important that our per capita income is not more than 1400 US dollar. So that is why I must say it is very crucial and vital. Uh, this is the, this slide is just uh, showing that the before uh, forming the consortium and after forming the consortium, so what is the health research activities in Bangladesh. So this is actually we extract from the uh, database of Web of Science. And this is, the, this is another slide. This is uh, the organizations actually, they do their research on health. In fact, in Bangladesh, there are, I think, 14, 15 organizations. There are many more, but not significant, just significant areas we just try to extract in this slide. And the research, uh, the another contribution of the INAS, that this is Bangladesh or Bangladesh Journal Online, so where you can find that we have uh, we have 141 online journals uh, with 1,050, 550 table of contents listing 20,133 articles. Out of that, 19,252 of the articles are available in full text in PDF form. And uh, Bangladesh, another um, uh, another action of Bangladesh that is the Bangladesh motivates to do more research in Bangladesh, and as a result, four journals out of 114 journals they get their international indexing position uh, in international database that is Web of Science, and these four journals are Journal of Health, Population, and Nutrition. This is. Once it belongs to ICDDRV, but right now it was sold to Biomed Central, that is the open access publishers. And Bangladesh Journal of Pharmacology, it is uh, published by Bangabundu Sheikh Mujib Medical University. Bangladesh Journal of Botany, this is published by University of Dhaka. And Bangladesh Journal of Plant Taxonomy, it is also published by, uh, in collaboration with other organizations, Dhaka University. And this is the um, uh, uh, this is also impor uh, very important. This slide uh, before consultation and after consultation. This is our individual uh, organization uh, health activities and health status research activities of ICDDRB. And uh, this slide is important for all of us because of you see the last five years publication status of ICDDRB. So where actually we publish uh, clo in closed access uh, journal and we publish in open access journal. So because of the you know the just my previous speakers he, he she also mentioned the same thing. So I am just showing you in the graph that actually how we are working and how we move forward to open access. So. This is for your kind information and kind consideration. And how our access has led to research, uh, uh, has uh, led to publication. The previous slides have shown the contribution of the consortium uh, to research uh, uh, activities and growth of research in Bangladesh. But why it is uh, important? Because research is very essential to carry science forward and uh, improving patient care that cannot be denied. And uh, research done actually benefits patient, physician, community, and country at large. Research actually do research, uh, researchers, they do research and generate literatures, generate information, and publish the results to gain recognition by means of uh, citations, and researchers are rewarded by the recognition of their peers for making results publicly available. Publication is one of the powerful methods, no doubt, uh, at scholars' uh, disposal to demonstrate academic talent and to peers that brings credit to researchers. Research organizations frequently use the number of publications to an individual use uh, as the measure of competency. Successful publication research result brings uh, attention to scholars and their institutions in order to bring more funding for doing further research. Evidence-based information is vital for doing any research that directly relates to the development of any nation. So now I would like to uh, I would like to hand over my uh, uh, microphone to Farzana to share the research access challenges actually how because she also does her research right now currently she is doing PhD under Dhaka University so she actually uh, will speak uh, something about the challenges of research access facilities in Bangladesh Farzana please thanks Dr Najim and thank uh, and uh, good morning everybody. Actually, I now I am going to share the challenges of facilitating research access in Bangladesh uh, as a researcher. Uh, we believe that uh, 
every library should have uh, some uh, basic components. Uh, that means uh, building, uh, uh, building professional staff members, budget, and users. In Bangladesh, the most difficult components for librarians to manage budget to resource, actually limited uh, uh, resources and unlimited demand of our user, uh, researchers. So uh, other challenges and, uh, and other challenges we are facing in Bangladesh uh, like um, subscription, um, the, uh, high subscription cost of e-resources, ICT growth, and lack of leadership in Bangladesh. Now we want to share how we would how we would meet the challenges the research exists in Bangladesh. To overcome these challenges, we librarians, we the librarians, publishers, and researchers, of course, need to get uh, need to work together. Uh, considering the position we hold in our respective organization. As a librarian, we feel librarians should work closely with publisher, which is crucial and there is uh, no, no alternative to provide support to researcher with right in information uh, with right information at the right time. Then, as a publishers, we expect publishers could do many things for librarian to assist researcher in ensuring access to literature, considering reducing subscription cost, and also taking into account of our of per capita income of the respective countries. Publishers and uh, I think publishers should think twice as they are highly dependent on researcher also to collect manuscript to publish the same in renowned impact journals. Uh, we believe to overcome these challenges, open access is one of the areas which we take seriously to reshape the future of research. At this stage, I would li like to request Dr. Nazim to finish at the rest of the slide. Uh, thank you, Farzana. Uh, so next, actually, how we meet the challenges of research access in Bangladesh, because to overcome those challenges, what uh, already mentioned by Farzana, so I think as librarians and as publishers. So publishers are the front part of research, and we are the librarians, and librarians are the back part of research, because you know why. Because publishers is engaged in publishing business, and librarian is engaging themselves to collect, store, to disseminate, and further publications for future research. So both are important. And as researchers, a study found that researchers consider contribution to scholarship as the main motivation for publishing, even though job mobility as a major source of motivation. Again, the major factor that influence journal decision is, uh, is journal reputation. However, many researchers indicated a high preference for journals that does not ch charge publication fee. So you understand why I'm mentioning that. And then, uh, this is not from, uh, from my, this is not uh, my statement. This statement actually has been made by the Dr. Elisa Weiss, and uh, Director of Universal A Access for Elsevier. So when I actually uh, prepare my presentation, so on that time I thought that I was the first person to think about that how publishers and librarians should work together. But when I go through the literature, then I found that actually someone already did on this, and uh, she is from Elsevier Science, and she is the director of Universal Access for Elsevier. And so what she said, she said that librarians and publishers have a unique vantage point on research. And what unite librarians and publishers? What are the things that divide librarians and publishers? But there are many more things that unite us. And then publishers' contributions to research start with the highest quality of information that increases the efficiency of researchers. Librarians and publishers, they share their responsibility of providing researchers with access to information now and in the, in the future. And in the digital age, together librarians and publishers work to ensure the digital preservation of the scholarly record by providing analytic tools such as Cyval. This is one of the tools. And libraries help institutions compete for research talent and resources and make smarter investments for further research and investments. Young researchers are the future of science. 
publishers help secure uh, the future by supporting and developing uh, by the global uh, developing the global research uh, community dr elisa she said that we have already started thinking to work together with librarian and publishers me also i also share the same thing and i confirm and i concur with the statement that 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 is given by the dr elisa thank you elisa and finally uh, what we do, you see the how researchers, publishers, and librarians working together for better shape and for better scholarly outputs. Because researchers, they do research, and, and then publishers, they do publish. And further, what we do as librarian to collect, preserve, and disseminate research findings through library. And if you think that it is in, under one umbrella, then what do you think? That can we avoid one another? I, I think it is not possible. And I think it is possible if you publishers and if we librarians and we researchers, if they should think that, yes, we are the friend of each other. And this is the final thought. Thank you very much.